So our goal in this question is to figure out the values of the exponents n and m, and we can begin to do that by recopying the given equation. We then are told that a has the dimensions of length times time. So for a, we're going to go ahead and plug those dimensions in in just a moment. b has dimensions l squared and t to the power of negative 1, and again, we'll plug that in for b in just a moment. And then c has dimensions l times t squared, so we'll plug that in as well. So let's go ahead and plug in all those dimensions. Next, on the right-hand side, we will apply one of the laws of exponents. And you may recall when you were studying mathematics that when you have x to the power of a, and then that's raised to another power b, what you do is you multiply those two powers. So in this little example, you would get x to the power of a times b. And that's basically what we're going to do on the right-hand side. So for example, you have l to the power of 2, which is raised to the power of n. So when you multiply those, you will get l to the power of 2n. You will also do that exercise for this power, negative 1 times that n, will give you t to the power of negative 1n. In the next term, we have the same idea. Note that this l has a power of 1. And when you multiply m and 1, you get l to the power of m. And then when you multiply the m by the 2, you get t to the power of 2m. Now, looking at the right-hand side, we can actually simplify a little bit because you have l to the power of 2n multiplied by l to the power of m. Recall another property of exponents that says when you multiply, let's say, x to the power of a and x to the power of b, you end up simply adding those powers. So you have x to the power of a plus b in that little example. So on the right-hand side with this l term, you're going to end up with l, and then you're going to add the 2n and the m. So you end up with a power of 2n plus m. And then we're going to do something very similar with the t term. We're going to add those exponents. So you're going to have t, and then the power will be negative 1n plus 2m. And the right hand, excuse me, the left hand side is still L times T. Now we're going to start equating like terms. And let's talk about what we mean by that. So on the left side, you have L to the power of 1. Again, there's an implied 1 there. And on the right hand side, you have L to the power of 2n plus m. Now in order for this equation to be true, the powers of L have to be equal. So what you're going to do is set the power of 1 equal to the 2n plus m. And then similarly, with the t to the power of 1, in order for the equation to be true, that power of 1 has to be equal to the power on the right side, the negative 1n plus 2m. So we will set those powers equal to each other as well. And now we have a basic system of two equations, which we can solve perhaps using the elimination method. So why don't we try to eliminate the n terms? And to do that, we would have to multiply the second equation by 2. So you would make sure you distribute that 2 to all three terms, giving you the following equation. You would have 2 is equal to negative 2n plus 4m. We'll leave the first equation untouched. And then we'll go ahead and add these equations together. On the left side, 1 plus 2 is 3. 2n plus negative 2n is 0. And then 1m plus 4m is 5m. And then we would divide both sides of this by 5, and we get 3 over 5 is equal to m. So that is the correct answer for the value of m. To solve for n, we can pick either of the original equations. We'll take this one, and we will simply substitute the m that we just obtained. So that was 3 fifths. A couple of ways we could solve this. Perhaps the best way is to multiply every term here by 5 because this generates a, an equation without any fractions. So now we have 5 is equal to 10n plus 3. Subtract 3 from both sides, you get 2 is equal to 10n. Divide both sides by 10, you get 2 divided by 10 is equal to n. We can simplify the 2 tenths by reducing it. Divide top and bottom by 2, we get n is equal to 1 fifth. And there are the correct answers to the question. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I would greatly appreciate it. But of course, please do not feel obligated to do so. I appreciate you taking the time regardless.